Maker Campers! Welcome to part two of the spinning lamp project. In part two, we're gonna get a little fancy with it. We're gonna add a motor, some homemade gears, and really go one step beyond with our outer lantern. Then we'll laser cut a few figures to run around inside of our cozy cabin. Let's get started. Be sure to check out the project step-by-step -step PDF for the full list of supplies that you'll need for this build. Using a compass, draw two four-inch diameter circles onto your cardboard scrap. This will be used for the large gear. Use the protractor on one of the circles to divide it into 12 equal pieces. Using scissors, cut both circles out. Now measure a one inch length of PVC pipe and cut it using a hacksaw. Sand the edges down. Center the PVC on top of one of the cardboard discs. Trace the PVC and then cut it out. Do this for both cardboard discs. Make sure that the PVC pipe fits snugly into the holes that you just cut. Now grab six mini craft sticks and mark the halfway point on each stick. Use scissors to cut them in half. Next, mark each half of the craft stick into halves once more, but this time don't cut. Glue each half craft stick onto the dividing lines that you drew onto one of the discs. Half of the craft stick should be sticking out past the cardboard disc. Make sure that the edge of each craft stick is perpendicular to the disc. Reinforce the bonds with more hot glue. Apply hot glue to the top edges of each craft stick and place the other cardboard disc on top of the glue. Reinforce the bonds again. Push the PVC pipe through the gear that you made. Make sure the gear is completely level after you push the pipe through. It should spin freely without any spokes touching the surface that it's on. Once it's level, glue the PVC in place. Now we're going to make our smaller gear. Draw two 2 inch diameter circles onto your cardboard scrap. Divide one of the two circles into fists. Cut both circles out. Measure your dowel into five one and a half inch segments. And now cut each segment with a craft knife. And sand the edges down. Make a mark on each stick at its halfway point. Poke a small hole into the center of each of your smaller discs. Glue each of the five dowel pieces to the five lines that you drew onto the cardboard. Apply more hot glue onto the top of the dowels and then glue the other disc on top. Check out part one of our spinning lamp tutorial where you'll learn how to make this base. Now grab your piece of plywood that is 10 inches by 11 inches. Draw a rectangle on it that is large enough to fit both of your gears. Ours is eight inches by seven inches. Use the one and a half inch hole saw bit to make your hole for your lamp base. We made ours two and three quarters up and to the right of the bottom left corner of the rectangle. Use the five eighths inch drill bit to make a hole for your motor. We made ours about two inches down to the left of the upper right corner of the rectangle. Now glue on your lamp base. The lamp socket should stick out just above the plywood. Make sure that your motor shaft fits into the hole on the small gear. Glue the small gear to the motor shaft, but be careful not to glue it to the base of the motor. It needs to be able to spin totally free when the power is applied. Now this is the most important part of the project. Place the motor into the smaller hole on the board and make sure that the dowels line up to the center of the craft sticks. You might have to slide the motor up and down until they are centered. Once you get your motor positioned, glue it in place. Now glue the side walls into place. 
we made two notches in our sidewall, one for the switch and one for the lamp cord. You can technically put the switch wherever you want, but we thought it would look good on the back. Now glue your switch into place and glue your battery holder to the bottom of the base near the motor and the switch. Now solder your circuit together. The switch should connect to the red wire on the motor to the red wire on the battery holder, and the two remaining black wires should be soldered to each other. Tape down any loose wires and add your batteries. Test those gears. With a light bulb, too. Woohoo! Look at it go. So, for this spinning lamp, we decided to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to build a house and then have the spinning moving parts on the inside be the people inside the house. We're going to start with a roof, a chimney, some tissue paper with frames around it, and then we're going to make it extra cozy and wintry by adding some snow and other decorations. We did a little A-frame style cabin. You can really do whatever you want here though, and the sky's literally the limit. You can make a different shaped house. Why don't you try to make your own house, the house that you live in? So for our people that are running around inside, we actually used a laser cutter to make some pretty detailed kids. To attach your shapes to the gear, cut and strip some hookup wire to use as support. Bend the hookup wire at a 90 degree angle and glue your shape to one side. Apply hot glue to the corrugated edge of the cardboard above one of the spokes. Slide the other side of the bent wire in between the layers of cardboard so that your shape is sticking straight up and is above the spoke. Repeat this process for all of your shapes. Check it out, our house is already built and decorated. Woohoo! Campers, don't you totally want to live in this awesome cabin? I know I do. It looks extra cozy. We can't wait to see what you're coming up with, so make sure you post pictures or videos to the Maker Camp community. And don't forget to check out our other project videos on the Kids Make YouTube channel. See you next time!